All right. <clears throat> we have cut into the cowl here, cutting it back a bit, trying to match it with the angle that the cowl has been rounded to. Additionally, we consistently and constantly go back to <clears throat> making proper measurements. This thing is so ratty now and difficult to work with, but it still provides me with the distance measurements I need. For example, from the side of the eye to the edge of the eye, correct. From the side of the eye to the edge of the nose, correct, correct. <clears throat> and then of course the side of the eye to the other side of the eye. And that is extremely helpful when you're trying to set the proper measurements of the piece that you're working on. You need to consistently and constantly do that, otherwise it will be off later on. And then you may have cut off too much in an area that you need. So <clears throat> make sure that you do that. Additionally, I measured the face. It's kind of off because this was originally a tattoo on someone's forearm. So it's going to taper from a high point to a low point, And I had to eventually get to a point where <clears throat> it matched or didn't. And eventually I did that. That said, you do get the side from the face of the eyes here. You get that and you have to round it in just like your face is. Round it in, round it in, and then out for the cheekbone. It'll become a little sharper um, eventually. Additionally, <clears throat> I cut a little more of the mouth out. And also, the, this face particularly has a lot of um, old wrinkles and um, bulbous areas where the uh, facial features meets the um, uh, cheekbones, in addition coming down to around the mouth region. So these areas are higher, higher. There will be some other higher areas here, but they'll slope back down to the back of the head. So this will get a little lower here, but I have to have this height here so that I can draw them in. So for example, <clears throat> this part of the face here is here. This part of the face is here. Um, this part of the face here is lower in than this height here and then sticks out. Additionally, it's the same here. I'll get the eyes in eventually. Obviously, these will be cut back here. This will also be cut back to here and put in depth. Eyes don't stick out of the head. They're set into the head. So these will be cut back as well to get those set correctly. <clears throat> Once I get, for example, these lines in here, they'll eventually uh, take up some of the height that's here. Coming around and so on and being cut in. Okay, all right. The height of the axe is getting quite a bit larger now. I'll cut in eventually once I get to a point where I want to start the beard and then push this back a little more. Yep, it's moving along. I also cut back the background a little more so I could get the cow to stick out, but it's coming along just fine. We'll move on with the next part uh, in the next lesson. Thank you.